Congratulations, you're the Premier League Player of the Month for September. How does it feel to win this award? Yeah, it's um, it's a good feeling. Um, you know, I think we we didn't start the season so so strongly, so um, to get four wins and a bounce is is really good. Um, and you know, the challenge now for us all is to you know maintain that and keep keep winning games. You mentioned a tough start to the season. I think it's fair to say it's turned around a little bit now with the four wins in a row. How good is it to be recognised for your part in that as well? Um, yeah, it's obviously a, a nice feeling. Um, I think everyone's chipped in to be proven, and um, you know it is still fairly new with, with the manager, and um, we've got much better at you know doing the things that he wants us to do. But there's still a lot of steps that we need to take. Um, so yeah, we're all looking forward to just working hard and, and doing that together. And it's an award that's voted for by fans as well, including fans of other clubs. So how does that make it special as well? Um, yeah, it's, it's obviously nice to be to be recognised for, for your performances. Um, so yeah, you know, for, for me as an as an individual, it's it's just about you know doing that as, as often as as I can. Um, you know, trying to help the team with, with goals and assists and and just my all-round play. Your favourite moment from September. Um, Favourite moment from t- September was probably an assist, actually. Um, Anthony scoring his, his first goal on his debut, so I think that's a massive moment and, you know, it gives us, you know, strength. And the two goals against Arsenal as well, just talk us through them. Do, having players like Bruno and Eriksen playing those balls in field, does that make your job a lot easier too? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think for for me, I just have to keep making the, the right runs and as long as my timing's good, um, I'm pretty confident that they're going to going to find me. Um, we spoke to Eric before the, uh, I think it was a Sociedad game and he said you're a happy Marcus Rashford. So how much are you enjoying your football under the new manager? Yeah, 100%. Um, fresh start and um, something to work towards and um, making a feeling to be working towards, you know, a big end goal. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can we can keep taking steps in the right direction, keep picking up points and keep progressing in, in tournaments. Are there certain parts of your game that you've been looking to improve under the new manager? I think there's, you said there's aspects that you've been working on the, in the two and a half months he's been here. I think, to be fair, we've been working on everything. You know, you want to you wanna work on, on your weaknesses, but, you know, for me, it's, it's about making your strength stronger as well. Um, if you can make your strengths that strong that, you know, it's, it's difficult for players to play against you, then that's the, that's the objective. Um, so, yeah, we've, we've worked on a, on a wide range of things. Um, and also in, in different positions as well. So it's important to you know understand roles of, of players that might be playing in different positions. But at some stage in the season, there's a there's a big chance that you could play there. Um, so yeah, it's just about learning from each other, uh, taking advice from the players on the pitch and the staff. Um, yeah, and just trying to fit all the all the pieces to the puzzle. And just finally, what are the kind of ambitions for for the rest of the season going forward? Um, I think we just want to take one game at a time. Obviously, the ambition at, at this club is always to win trophies. Um, so, yeah, that's definitely at the, the forefront of our minds. But, you know, we have to take it one game at a time, keep improving. Um, and, yeah, we'll see where the, where the season takes us.